it's Mina. Please ignore my hair. It's still drying um, from the last video. Anyway, um, way, um, today in this video I'm going to do the Disney princess tag. And I'm making this video quick because I have to go to a memorial service but not until later. So I figured I'd just like make this video really fast. So anyway, um, I have to go to a memorial service today but I don't know what time. But I'm making this video really fast just in case I have to leave now. So anyway, um, today in this video, anyway, I'm going to get started, and if you guys want to do this tag, I will put the questions down below, and I tag whoever wants to do this tag to do it. So anyway, I'm going to get started. Question number one, favorite princess. My favorite princess is Belle, just because, to, in my opinion, I think she's the first ever smart Disney princess. That's because she doesn't trust a villain, she doesn't, and she doesn't fall in love right away, and she's smart enough not to fall for her jerks. Question number two, favorite prince. Maybe Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast, just Beast, who is also the Beast, by the way, for those who didn't know, just because he takes his time to fall in love with Belle and he sees more to her than just her appearance, which I really like. Question number three, favorite couple. Obviously Belle and Prince Adam because they don't fall in love right away. Question number four, least favorite couple. Me, least favorite princess, I mean. Sorry. Snow White and the Prince just because, I mean, Snow White just because her voice is really high-pitched and she's kind of not very smart. I mean, I don't mean to be mean. I like Snow White. I love how motherly she is. She, I love how she um, is a little bit bossy and towards men and the dwarves and she treats them like children. I think it's kind of cute. But my only issue is she's not very smart because she lets someone in because, um, she goes and sneaks into people's houses and lets them in, and I understand she like wants a place for shelter, and also she lets strangers in when she's told not to. Question number five, least favorite prince. Maybe the prince from Snow White just because they don't take their time to fall in love. Question number six, least favorite couple. Snow White and the prince obviously just because they don't take their time to fall in love. Question number seven, favorite dress. Um, maybe Belle's golden ball gown, because it's really pretty, and I love how they do her hair. Question number eight, least favorite dress. Maybe Snow White's rags in the beginning of the movie, just because it makes me look sad. Question number nine, a princess who inspires you. Maybe Belle, um, because she, um, looks more inside of people instead of on the outside. Question number 10, worst decision made by a princess. Maybe when, I mean, I, I don't mean to be, hit, to be, be, to bash on Ariel. I really like Ariel. She's another one of my favorite Disney princesses. But one issue I have with her, like, um, well, the worst decision I think she's ever made was trusting someone she knew was evil. Evil, yeah. You never should trust someone you think you know is bad. Question number 11. A villain you feel is justified by the treatment of the prince or the princess? Hang on, let me look up that question really fast. I'm sorry, this may take a little while. Maybe Ursula, just because um, uh, Ariel trusted her and she didn't think about it before she um, did it. Sorry, I had to look up the word just to make because I forgot the meaning. Question number twelve: A princess you would like to trade places with? Maybe Belle. I mean, question number um, twelve. Yeah, uh, maybe Belle, just because she gets a library full of books and I like to read. Question number 13, a princess whose life you'd hate to have. Even though I'd like to, I like Cinderella, I would hate to have her life just because all the people who have treated mistreated her cruelly. Me and it's so sad, it makes me want to cry. 
Question number 14. A princess who you think is a bad role model for girls. Maybe um, Snow White just because she falls in love right away and does like, and she doesn't think before she does stuff. Question number 15. Favorite tiara. I don't have one. Question number 16. Fa favorite song sung by a princess. To be honest, I like so maybe Once Upon a Dream sung by Sleeping Beauty. Question number 18. The princess whom you would be best friends with. Maybe Belle, just because we both love to read. Question number 19. The princess who you'd be frenemies with. Maybe, um, Aurora, just because she cries about seeing her boyfriend instead of, like, something really bad that happened to her, happened, that something really bad that she's lived with her long, with her whole life, just be, life, like, um, and, um, like Cinderella, because Cinderella's like cried after she's like lived with something bad her whole life. Life, and I don't think Aurora has a reason to cry. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Question number twenty: The princess whom you hate and openly hate and be enemies with. Um, neither. Just because I like all of them, because they're so kind and caring. Question number twenty-one: The princess you would dress for for Halloween. Um, I would dress up for, um, I would dress up, I dressed up actually as Snow White when I was, like, five. Question number 22. The three qual admirable qualities about the princess you named on number four. Um, one, th uh, three admirable things I like about Snow White is I love how she's motherly and demanding towards the dwarves. I also like how she communicates with forest animals, and I also like how she loves to help, um, like she helps clean up the dwarves' home and treats them like children, which is pretty funny. Question number 23. A princess you feel didn't deserve a happy ending? Neither, because I think all of them deserve happy endings. I mean, I mean, there's no princess that I didn't feel deserved happy endings. I think all of them deserved a happy ending. Question number 24. A happy ending you didn't feel makes sense was too easy. Maybe Sleeping Beauties just because she, um... Because in the original story of Sleeping Beauty, she falls asleep for a hundred years. Hold on, let me... One minute. Ah. Sorry, I was closing my computer. Anyway, um... Anyway, um, maybe just because you know, uh, Sleeping Beauty just, like, falls asleep through the entire movie, and then she wakes up by the, with the prince of a, a kiss of a prince, and, um, it just, like, um, doesn't really make sense because they're not, like, they don't appear through the whole movie. The main characters are, like, the fairies. Like, they're not, like, showing through the entire movie, which is kind of boring because Sleeping Beauty is supposed to be the main character and so is the prince and they're both supposed to be prince and they um, end up being like the secondary characters which is kind of boring. Question number 25. Favorite sidekick. Maybe the forest animals from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Question number 27. Best singing voice. Um, to be honest, I can't decide between Belle, um, Princess Aurora, or Jasmine, or Tiana, or Rapunzel or Anna, or Elsa, I can't decide, they all have such great singing voices. Question number 28, the edge of your seat, the moment you found most exciting. I think the moment I found most exciting, for those who don't know, one of my all-time favorite scenes in the history of Disney movies is probably the ballroom scene from Beauty and the Beast, just because it's so uh, realistic, pretty, and I love how it's like, how you have like animated characters in a um, computer animated scene. It's so cool. Question number 29. If you were a princess, what would your story be? Maybe me seeing more inside of people, kind of like Bella from Beauty and the Beast, because I love how she sees more inside of people, and also me being independent and not needing, like, anyone to save me. Me, because that's what I realized with a lot of the Disney princesses. A lot of them are damsels in distress. Question number 30. What would you want to see from the next Disney princess? Maybe a princess not falling in love and being independent, not needing someone to save her, which is pretty nice. Because that's one of my, one thing, this is one thing my mom constantly complains about, about all the older Disney movies, is the Disney, Disney princess films, is like the damsel in distress. That's one of her biggest pet peeves, 
faves, and I can't think I'm actually trying to see her point. I'm actually starting to see her point, too. Okay, so that was the Disney Princess tag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!